it is the holiday season and you know what better way to celebrate the holidays than to to watch an uplifting uh war on christmas video from prager you so why don't we go ahead we're gonna get that started let me uh pause our beautiful frosted nintendo music here let's see if i can get this working probably not all right, so a little bit of context for this, and please let me know if you can hear it. So let's let's read the little description blurb before we get started. Should Americans wish each other happy holidays or Merry Christmas? Should an office Christmas party be called a holiday party so that's more inclusive? Dennis Prager answers these questions and more in this short video. Uh, BT Dubs, Reagan.com. Uh, supports Prager U, and um, if you're at all familiar with who Reagan is, or Ronald Reagan, that's just sort of be your first clue right there. You should also notice, too, in this blur, but I'm just kind of scrolling down really quickly, there's no um, sources. There's just a script, and when you click on for the complete script, go here, um, we get nothing. So immediately off to a good start, no sources, and the link is busted. So with that said, why don't we go ahead and listen to what this 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 masterful person has to say about saying Merry Christmas. Here we go. The change from wishing fellow Americans Merry Christmas to wishing them Happy Holidays is a very significant development. Is it? Proponents of Happy Holidays argue it's no big deal. Proponents of Merry Christmas are making a mountain out of a molehill. Which is true. But the Happy Holidays advocates want it both ways. They dismiss opponents as hysterical, but at the same time, in addition to replacing Merry Christmas with Happy Holidays, they have relentlessly pushed to replace Christmas vacation with winter vacation and Christmas party with holiday party. Okay, so... <laughs> all right. So first of all, he's already framing this as something that is... Uh, deliberately attacking the quote-unquote American faith. Now, we need to, you know, we can sit here and break down how, you know, America shouldn't be a Christian nation. It wasn't founded on on Christian um, values, if you look into the Founding Fathers and into the people who uh, stole this land from the indigenous folk. Um, these people did not want Christianity as, you know, a, uh, the American religion. They wanted people to, you know, have freedom of religion and do their own thing. So, regardless, he's, he's framing it from that perspective, number one. Number two, you can already see that he's beginning to very, very subtly start the propaganda just by the types of fonts that he's using. Well, you might think, well, Joan, you're being nitpicky. I, I am, but it, it's it's for a point here. So he's deliberately going um, at the beginning here, right, to something that's um, sort of cute and Christmassy and very traditional looking to something that's uh, minimalistic kind of bland um and that's a very deliberate stylistic choice he's he's making the argument without saying as much that we're, we're going from something that's beautiful and traditional and and heartwarming to something that is bland and that is stripped of all character but he's not saying that in so many words he's saying that just reuse of the text alone right and by the text i literally mean the text and the typeface and the font choice etc so um let's see what else he has to say they dismiss opponents as hysterical, but at the same time, in addition to replacing... I've never seen anybody dismiss anybody who says Merry Christmas as hysterical. And I'm... I'm I've mentioned before that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm from New York. You know, take a shot every time I mention that I'm from New York, right? Um, but I've never seen anybody who has said Merry Christmas get physically attacked, verbally attacked, anybody, you know, any limbs around them getting hysterical. It was like, oh, Merry Christmas. Oh, okay. You know, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you, you celebrate, right? So I don't know where he's getting this hysteria from. And because he has no sources, I also can't go and check and see, okay, well, what does the source say about this hysteria? Like, this, this is just uh, pulling shit out of your ass is the source. Merry Christmas with Happy Holidays. They have relentlessly pushed to replace Christmas vacation with winter vacation and Christmas party with holiday party. Again, I'm, I'm not seeing the problem with this because, surprise, 
there's a lot of different holidays during the month of December, you know, end of November into December, early January. So it's just more inclusive, right? To say, well, you know, we don't want to assume everybody sells Christmas. Maybe some people celebrate Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. I celebrate Yule. Um, any other number of holidays, Festivus, you know, what, anything out there, right? Sabinalia, whatever. So to me, it makes sense. But like, well, we don't want to call it a Christmas party because not everybody celebrates it. Holiday is fine. Winter is fine. Seasonal is fine. I, I don't see the issue with these. So then, which is it? Is all this elimination of the word Christmas important or not? Again, who's who's eliminating Christmas and what source is he pulling this from? The answer is obvious. It's very important. That's why so much effort is devoted to substituting other words for Christmas. Where is he getting and this And these from? efforts have been extraordinarily <laughs> successful. What In is place he talking of the about? Merry Christmas of my youth. In recent decades, I have been wished happy holidays by every waiter and waitress in every restaurant I have dined, by everyone who welcomes me at any business, by my flight attendants and pilots. Okay, so before... <coughs> I'm going to have to edit out the coughs. Before we, we even continue, <coughs> I worked in retail for about five years before I went back to college and decided to, to move on and, and try to do something with myself. Um, caveat, that's not to say if you work in retail or not, just, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't for me, and I wasn't a good fit for it, quite frankly, I was a terrible worker in retail. But regardless, I, I worked in retail for five years, and we were not allowed to say Merry Christmas. Corporate, in the, in the couple of places that I've worked in, were, like, they would get really, really upset if they heard you say Merry Christmas to a customer, you had to say Happy Holidays. Um, I actually got in trouble one time uh, because I was speaking to an older lady and I said, Happy Holidays, ma'am. And she goes, oh, well, you know, you can say Merry Christmas. It's fine. I'm like, well, ma'am, I can't say Merry Christmas. You know, it's it's corporate policy. I, I have to say Happy Holidays. Um, and she got really upset. And then my boss, during that conversation, overheard me say the phrase Merry Christmas. So then I had to deal with both an upset customer and a boss who thought I was saying Merry Christmas to everybody. So, you know, thanks. But the point is that, you know, you're working in the service industry. A lot of these corporations, and I don't know if this has changed, but when I was working in retail, you had to say Happy Holidays. You were not allowed to say Merry Christmas or say any one specific holiday because you might ostracize other people. So... He's, like, immediately shifting the blame and turning it into this, like, huge conspiracy <laughs> that, oh, nobody wants to say Merry Christmas. You, you know, it, it's got to be Happy Holidays. I'm forcing Happy Holidays down my throat. It's like, no, we have to say Happy Holidays. Otherwise, we'll get written up and potentially fired. Holy shit. And by just about everyone else. When I respond, thank you, Merry Christmas. I often sense that I've actually created some tension. <gasps> Verbally is great. I can't. <laughs> oh, he said Merry Christmas. Like, give me a break. Dennis, please. Any of those I wish Merry Christmas are probably relieved to hear someone who feels free to utter the C word. But all the sense of training word, they've had to undergo creates cognitive dissonance. Where is he pulling the sensitivity training from? <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? Oh my god. I, I, I Can I also say, I mean, again, I, I worked in retail between 2003 and towards the beginning of 2008, so maybe it's changed. I don't remember any sensitivity training. I remember union busting training. I remember being trained to, like, sell really shitty warranties. That's sensitivity training. The opponents of Merry Christmas and other uses of the word Christmas know exactly what they're doing. What? Wait. What? A, see, again, he's turning it into, like, this this gotcha of, it's not just people who want to say Merry Christmas. They're your, they're your opponents. They're your enemies. It's, it's, it's again, it's, it's down to the text. It's, it's down to his, his shitty words. Hey, Billy, what's up? Happy holidays. Uh, did they really need the, of course they did. Of course. 
of course. See, what's really, <coughs> excuse me, what's really insidious about this particular style of, of editing and, and presentation is that it's very slick. And there's nothing wrong with slick production values or, or you know, putting together a well, you know, produced piece, obviously. You want it to look nice, you can. But a lot of people, they'll overlook the words and the intent and then go well you know it's very nicely presented obviously they put a lot of effort into it so what they say must be true um <coughs> we're, we're a minute 46 into this and we've just completely knocked away what he's been saying so far so i'm 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 I, obviously you don't just be fooled by style right the liberal war on synonyms yeah exactly well of course well not just coke money but it's also sponsored by uh, Reagan.com, keep in mind. All right, let me rewind a bit. The opponents of Christmas. Like, again, he's, he's framing it like <laughs> it's this battle. The battle for the soul and, uh, and the heart of Christmas. Pieces of the word Christmas know exactly what they're doing. What are we doing? They're Dennis? disingenuous when they dismiss defenders of Merry Christmas as fabricating some, quote, <laughs> war. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Mel, Mel, <Elliot> the FBI. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait a minute. This motherfucker just pulled out a gun. It's when they dismiss defenders of Merry Christmas as fabricating some, quote, war on Christmas. Of course it's a war on Christmas. It's not a war on Christmas. <laughs> Okay, so if, if you're on the left, clearly, if you didn't know you could do this, um, Dennis just made it a lot easier for us. He, he has busted open the war on Christmas, and he's also exposed our abilities to completely physically manifest an automatic rifle on whim. So whenever we're triggered by the word Christmas, we just gain a helmet and a gun. Get <laughs> start shooting all of these awful people who say Merry Christmas. Do you see what I mean? By like the fucking the fucking hyperbole. It's not a war on Christmas. If anything, you want to blame capitalism for you know saying like, hey, you can't say Christmas, you gotta say holidays. Like if you if you really have that much of a hate boner for people who can't say or don't want to say or don't choose to say Merry Christmas. Maybe start and take a look at capitalism and the way it commercializes the holiday of Christmas. Maybe. Just a thought. Anyway, of course it's a war on Christmas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a video by PragerU, if you're just joining us. Uh, we'll, we'll circle back around to, to Dennis Prager in a minute. Or more precisely, a war on the religious nature of America. Here we go. Okay. Because we have to get out guns. For a what? How did <laughs> a war on the right on religious the religious nature, nature of, America. of America? So it can't just be. <coughs> damn, sorry about the coughing. It can't just be. <coughs> that's not saying a phrase or saying a phrase. We have to completely twist this into not just oh you can't say Merry Christmas, but uh, a war on the religious nature of America because we all know America is a monoculture. Um, and everybody here, by law, has to practice some form of Christianity. Oh, Belly, you don't even know. We'll get into it. The left in America, like the left in Europe, sure. wants to create a thoroughly secular society. No, we <laughs> don't! Where is this coming from? And again, I want to be very clear here. There's, there's no sources on any of this. He is pulling this... <laughs> Straight from his gaping asshole. I I don't understand. Like who? Wh I'm pagan. Okay. I'm I'm I'm. If you, if you squint and look at it sideways, you can call me Wiccan. But the point is that I'm pagan. I'm not secular by any means. He is just assuming that everybody who says Happy Holidays is one of those 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 awful atheists who want to ruin America with their atheism. Like. <laughs> Fuck Dennis. Not a secular government, which is a desirable goal and which in any event has always been the case in America. Sure. But a secular not society. Really. Most people do not realize that the left believes in secularism 
as fervently as religious Jews and Christians believe in the Bible. No. Wait a minute. Hold on a fucking minute. Hold on a minute. I gotta, I gotta take a, wait a minute. Okay. Take a sip of my non-denominational holiday drink. So, the left believes in secularism. Wait, aren't these two antonyms? First of all. The left wants to deny me my right to force my religion down their throat. They're anti-free. I wish that was a joke, but that's exactly what this is. That's exactly what this is. So we got two antonyms here. The left believes in secularism. That's, that's not how this works, Dennis. <laughs> as fervently as religious Jews and Christians, what, believe in the Bible? Believe in the Bible. Okay, the, how, can somebody, I need somebody to really sit with me and help me parse the sentence. I know I am not the most intelligent person in the world, but there is something wrong here. <laughs> like, no, no, right, right. Jews believe in um, uh, the the first half, I believe, of ye Bible. But certainly not the uh, the second part with the Jesus. As far as I know, I, I could be way off, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that Jews don't believe in Jesus. So that whole uh, uh, testament shows how much I know or remember about the Bible. <laughs> yeah, the Torah, uh, I'm, I'm going to mispronounce this, I apologize, any Jewish friends who are watching. So the Torah, the, the Talmud, um, um, and, a, and a couple of other texts. I, again, I'm, I'm not at all familiar with Judaism beyond what little I know about Hanukkah and things like that, and, and Rosh Hashanah, and etc. So, like, not only is I, I'm I'm a little I'm a little stymied at, at him just completely getting this wrong, and also like I'm to my understanding, not all Christians follow or believe in the Bible either, right? Like, I I, I believe some denominations are just like you know the Bible's maybe a set of guidelines, but we you know it's it's a set of nice stories, but you know, it's it's not what we believe in. We believe in God. Not necessarily what the Bible has to say. So the fact that he's making, first of all, this ridiculous argument that doesn't make any fucking sense, and then conflating it with <laughs> the left as if people on the left uh, cannot be Jewish or cannot be Christian, which is also sort of a slap in the face to those who have those fates but are left-leaning or on the left side of politics. Um, this, is, this is just... A, a, a cacophony of bullshit, I think, is the best way I can describe it. Just a cacophony of bullshit. Let's continue. That's why Merry Christmas bothers secular activists. It's a blatant... Wait, 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 wait. Notice the words that he chose here. Secular activist. So we've gone from just people on the left in general who are, quote-unquote, offended by Merry Christmas... To secularists, whoever they are, to secular activists. Who brought up activists? Nobody was talking about activists or activism. We're just talking about the phrase Merry Christmas. So again, you see how he sort of slips in these little bits and pieces to try to get you to think, oh, like, well, he's, he's right and makes a lot of sense. And it's, it's these activists who are trying to, to take away our, our Christmas rights. Reminder of just how religious America is and always has been. So here's a mm, prediction. I know that. Activists on the left will eventually seek to remove Christmas as a national holiday. Why? Why would activists do this? I, mm, that, that doesn't make sense. Like, at Christmas, Again, I mean, regardless of how you feel about the religious aspects of it, Christmas has been a secular holiday for, you know, how many fucking centuries now in America. I don't think that's going away. Even if there were hordes of these alleged butthurt left secularist activists 
I, I don't think Christmas is going away because even people who are secular uh, celebrate Christmas. Like I said, I am pagan. I'm Wiccan. I celebrate Yule. I celebrate the solstice. But I also celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate the Jesus or that whole story or mythology. But I just like Christmas. I, I just think it's 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 pretty. It's nice. I like Christmas Eve. I do the Italian thing with the Feast of the Seven Fishes and, you know, don't eat red meat. <laughs> it's just, it's a, it's a heritage thing at this point, right? Um, it doesn't mean anything to me in a religious fashion. That's what the 21st is for, or, you know, Yule, which goes back and forth. But, uh, no, like, I don't... And, and Belly brings up a good point, too. Um, do you honestly think in this current world we live in, which is saturated to the brim with capitalism, that... Uh, corporations, that big business, and and some of the people that do are you know are part of running America. If you really want to get into that, would ever turn around and say, um, "Oh yeah, let's just totally get rid of what makes us the most money uh, each year, every year <coughs> for centuries now." We don't need Christmas. <laughs> like, do you think capitalism would let that happen? Of all the things, capitalism would 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 let that happen. I don't think so. Thank you, Belly. I've got my diet, Cran, 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 Gary, Glenn Ross, Cranberry, Glenn Ross, Cran Cherry. So Andy Williams, the guy that's selling Happy Holidays, essentially, <laughs> he must be. All right, I, I, let me let me start with this again because I, 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 I want to hear his whole sentence. On I don't. The left will eventually seek to remove Christmas. Sure, as not really, but sure. Holiday. Now, the left doesn't announce that its agenda is to thoroughly secularize American and European societies. What? Instead, they offer the inclusiveness argument. What the fuck is he talking about? Dennis, what are you talking about? Where are you pulling this from? Doesn't announce that its agenda is to thoroughly secularize American and European societies. Also, like, <laughs> yeah, right, Europe never has Christmas. Also, like, all of these symbols that he's showing here, none of this is exclusively Christmas, my guy. Like, hey, guess what? Um, Other winter holidays incorporate similar colors, similar greenery, presents. <laughs> like, I mean, and this is where he's showing his biases too, right? Because he sees all of this, this symbology and he thinks, well... You know, obviously this is Christmas. It's Christmas to him because that's what he celebrates. But, you know, plenty and plenty of people will put up wreaths and decorations and presents and candy canes um, and not celebrate Christmas. A lot of these religious holidays overlap in their symbology and their, icon and their uh, iconography and their color schemes. So we want to talk about, like, absolute bias. Um, Dennis, you're kind of showing your whole ass here, right? Uh, Mal says, counterpoint, Japan would celebrate Christmas for like two weeks straight despite... Yeah, right. Uh, Japan, exactly, is not especially known for being Christian, but they still thoroughly celebrate Christmas. It's a fun time of year. Well, for most people. For me, even though I am I am darkly inclined and I try to be a cute, spooky girl and I want to be a big titty, you know, goth waifu, um, I still like Christmas. It's fun. I like the fucking dumb music. I like the fucking dumb movies. I like all the dumb shit. I got a I got a six foot tree here filled with silly ornaments. <laughs> like, and I don't celebrate it. I know, Mal. I know, I know. I'm like the only Christmas goth. I know. But the point is, like, you can enjoy all of these things and not be religious. You can enjoy all these things and not celebrate the Christ. It's okay, and it's okay to have similar colors and iconography and and symbols and, and all this other shit. And I I don't understand why he's coming up with this idea that. People on the left's agenda, as if we all have a secret sort of Zoom cabal meeting um, every, you know, December the 1st to talk about how we're going to ruin Christmas. There's no agenda at play here. Dennis, what the fuck? Secularize American and European societies. Instead, they offer the inclusiveness argument. Sure. That Merry Christmas or Christmas party or Christmas vacation is not inclusive. This it's... I mean, it's not, if you want to get technical about it. Again, like, as we've been saying, not everybody celebrates Christmas. I, I don't know what to tell you, Dennis. This inclusive argument plays on Americans' highly developed sense of decency. Oh, because no other country has, has a sense of decency. Just Americans. God bless America. But the argument is preposterous. 
Who exactly is being excluded when one wishes someone Merry Christmas? Uh, people, people who don't, people who don't celebrate Christmas. Like, I, you know, if, if somebody tells me Merry Christmas, I'm not going to get offended. I'm not going to go out and tell every single person who I don't know, oh, who wishes me a Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm pagan. Can you say, you know, uh, blessed solstice? You know what I mean? Like, shut the fuck up. Nobody is, is, is doing this. Or people who are atheists were saying, oh, I'm sorry, I don't celebrate Christmas. I just, you know, sort of enjoy the general holiday. Or maybe they don't. Maybe they just don't enjoy the holidays at all. Whatever. It doesn't matter. The point of it is is being in polite society and not making the assumption that people say Merry Christmas. There's no agenda here. There's no backdooring deals trying to eliminate the word Christmas. It's, it's just being polite. So you say Happy Holidays or Season's Greetings or fucking whatever the fuck. You know, like, it's just... You just, you're, you're being polite. You're being nice. You are actually excluding people by saying Merry Christmas. Again, not intentionally. Nobody's, you know, and maybe there are people who do this. I don't fucking know. I don't think there's hordes of Christians going out there and bombarding people with Merry Christmas. And then we're saying, ah, oh, you know, I'm not really celebrate Christmas. And like, they're shoving it down their, their secularist throat. <laughs> but, I mean, unintentionally, you are excluding people when you say Merry Christmas. Not a huge deal. Most people, you know, just sort of take it and try to be like, oh, you know, thanks, happy holidays, or Merry Christmas Tuesday, or whatever. But it's it's still technically exclusive. You know, and that's just something you gotta keep in mind. Non-Christians? I'm a non-Christian. I'm a Jew. Christmas is not a religious holy day for me, but I'm an American, and Christmas is a national holiday in my country. It is therefore my holiday, though not my holy day, as much as it is for my fellow Americans who are Christian. Okay, but it, it, his logic on the surface is sound. Like, you know, I'm a Jew, but, you know, American uh, Christmas is still a secularist holiday, blah, blah, blah. It's fine. And that's fine for him. And I think this is where we're having sort of the, the where the issue is sort of falling apart on, on his end, right? He is fine as somebody who is Jewish, when somebody says, Merry Christmas, that is this country's holiday, blah, blah, blah. Again, I should point out that Christmas in America is profoundly secularized, if for no other reason, if we really want to sit there and break it down, than capitalism, right? I get sucked into get buying the presents and giving people cards and all that, just as much as any Christian does, just as much as any other person of any other faith does, or doesn't, whatever. You know what I'm saying. If he wants to feel offended that people aren't saying Merry Christmas to him, fine, be offended. That's fine. Tr truly, I'm not taking the piss in, in, in this instance. If he gets offended by that, you know, that sucks, and people should tell him Merry Christmas. But this is from his opinion, and he is trying to make his opinion and his beliefs that. And that is the problem. Your values, as I've said many times when we've looked at politics, are not my values, are not your values, are not his values, are not her values, are not their values. We might have similarities, but at the end of the day, you don't have the right to tell me what I can and cannot believe, what I can and cannot say. Um, and I understand his perspective insofar as, like, you know, well, it, it hurts me when people say Merry, uh, Happy Holidays instead of Merry Christmas. You are totally fine, Dennis, because uh, you're watching, I'm sure, to feel that way. But do not juxtapose your values and your heart and your beliefs onto other people for whom that is not true. And surprise, that is a large majority of people. That's just how it is, regardless of if they live in, you know, even if they live in America. Like, again, if people tell me Merry Christmas, I'm not going to get, oh, really? this is Merry Christmas. And that's awesome. Like, it's just, it's just a nice thing to say to people, okay? Unintentionally exclusive, still exclusive, but unintentionally. You take it on the chin and go, oh, okay, Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays to you. Whatever the fuck to you. So it's, 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 again, it's taking something that is personal to him and twisting it and saying, oh, because this hurts me, clearly this is the thing that must be addressed. Hey, Dennis. Dennis, you gotta pull your head out of your ass, my man. That's why it's not surprising that it was an American Jew, Irving Berlin who wrote White Christmas, one of America's most popular Christmas songs. In fact, according to a Jewish musician writing in the New York Times, almost all the most popular Christmas songs were written by Jews.
Apparently, all these American Jews felt quite included by Christmas. All right, so let, let me... Okay, Dennis. Dennis. <clears throat> I'm going to pause tab out of here real quick. Just, just for a minute. Let's look up the song, if I could spell it. Right, Christmas. Okay. White Christmas is an Irving Berlin song reminiscing about the old-fashioned Christmas setting written by Berlin for the 1942 musical film Holiday Inn. Cool. Um, do we know what was going on in the 40s and the 50s? The 50s more in particular, but in the 40s. So we were just ending World War II. Um, sort of extreme nationalism going on. Uh, you know, uh, the, you know the, the, the boys defeated the Germans and, and the Allies won and successful and everything's great and blah, blah, blah. And well, they're still fighting and this and that, but we got them. So first of all, we're talking about something that was meant to sort of uplift the spirits of people going through World War II. Um, something holiday, something really nice. Um... And that's and that's fine, but then we get into things like, you know, what also happened in the fifties, right? We're talking the fifties. We're talking about um, McCarthyism. So we're we're shifting from something from this the sort of nationalistic American propaganda um, to McCarthyism, and it's like in the, you know again in the fifties. So this is, it's a bit of a jump, but at the same time, um, this was the culture. America was a monoculture. It didn't have a lot of the. Um, sort of underground stuff, a lot of the uh, subcultures and stuff that we have now, or even that were, you know, sort of developed in the late 40s, early 50s. I mean, you know, there were things like, you know, like Dadaism and Surrealism and, <clears throat> um, you know, beatniks and things like that. But it was still very largely a monoculture due to the media, due to the technology, etc. So it just makes sense to me. And this is something I could be pulling out of my ass. So, you know, full full disclosure here that you are going to be writing something that the vast majority of America uh, celebrates in the 1940s, right? Like, we're, we're still going through a war, we're just in the war, you know, we're, we're trying to pull ourselves out of the Depression. Um, go America, yay. So, yeah. And the other thing, too, is that I don't see what being Jewish has to do with his argument. Like, almost all the most popular Christmas songs written by Jews. Okay, cool. What's your point? There are still people who don't celebrate Christmas. You're just completely flocking over this. And again, I can't even go and check the source without popping open like a, another tab and looking at Google because uh, he doesn't provide any fucking sources. So I, I have no clue if this is even true or not. It could be. It could be. Maybe, you know, like it says Michael Feinstein and... Uh, December 2019, or 2009, rather. Um, so it could be true. Who knows? He won't say, though. Apparently, all these American Jews felt quite included by Christmas. And again, just because these particular handful of Jewish people who made these songs felt included doesn't mean that all Jews do or did. Doesn't mean that all people do. You're, you're, you're building this, this really shitty argument made out of flimsy logic. It doesn't hold up. By not wishing me a Merry Christmas, you are not being inclusive. Oh my God. You are excluding me from one of my nation's national holidays. But even if Christmas were not a national holiday, I would want pilots to wish their passengers Merry Christmas, companies to have Christmas parties, and schools to continue to have Christmas vacations. Just because I don't personally celebrate Christmas, why would I want to drop the word Christmas when the holiday is celebrated by 90% of my fellow Americans? It borders on the misanthropic, not to mention the mean-spirited. Oh my God, is he kidding me? I can't, this is, this is just him talking about his preferences. It is fine to have preferences, it is fine <clears throat> to to want things to be a certain way. However, when you're stepping on other people's toes, when you're being a, a rude asshole, <laughs> frankly, like, let's be honest here, and then turning around and calling people who want to be more inclusive 
<laughs> mean-spirited misanthropes. Maybe you need to turn around and point the finger at yourself and do a little self-reflection and go, am I the bad guy here? Am I the asshole? Because guess what? You're kind of being the asshole, my dude. To want to deny nearly all of your fellow citizens the joy of having Christmas what? parties Santa? and being wished a Merry Christmas. Oh my God. <laughs> really believes? But like, people on the left are just going around beating up mall Santas and <laughs> Salvation Army Santas for saying Merry Christmas. Look at this. Like, it's, it's, he's not even fucking hiding the violence that he wants to see at this to point. To deny nearly all of your fellow citizens the joy of having Christmas parties or being wished a Merry Christmas. It, clearly, yes. There has been a string of, of anti-Santa hate crimes just just for for decades now and it just it's kept under the wraps by the media because the liberal media doesn't want you to know that people are going around uh beating up santa claus because that's bad luck like get the fuck out. <laughs> please please the vast majority of americans who celebrate christmas and who treat non-christians so well deserve better uh, so please say merry christmas and christmas party and Christmas vacation. If you don't, you're not inclusive. You're hurtful. Oh. That, there it is. You don't use my preferred terms. You're an asshole. <laughs> you're hurtful. And again, I mean, you, you can equally make the argument if you wanted to be that guy of when I say, you know, just say happy holidays. It's it's more inclusive. It's not specific. I'm like, well, you, you know, you're, you're saying that if you don't say happy holidays, you're going to get triggered. I don't care. I, got to, I don't care. Because I know when people say Merry Christmas, they're coming from a place of being polite, of being kind, of, of trying to just you know, wish me well during the holiday season. You know what I mean? Oh, Belle, you found it? Um, Can you throw a link in chat so we can take a look at it? I just want to see if what he says is true. Which, like I said, it could be. And maybe, you know, I could be just splitting hairs on that point. I'm Dennis Prager. We know. <laughs> and, of course, uh, Reagan.com. Thank you. Thank you. Legacy of Ronald Reagan. So, that was j just... I don't even know. Like, fucking... Just a whole bunch of him going... Please say Merry Christmas, or otherwise I will be a giant piss baby. 